All right, so now I've, I've kind of given myself an internal frame of the background, which I like. It focuses on everything I want. <laughs> um, but there might even be more reduction I can do. And I'm using these kind of overlays to help block out even further and lessen that background. And then I see, okay, what do I actually like of this? And I like the top part for sure, up in here. I think I like the texture I get through here. Don't know that I need the texture here. So if I know I like the top and the texture through here, I might just take that and duplicate it. And is there anything I like from the bottom? Well, honestly, I don't think I like this all that much. Yeah, I don't think I need that. So all this kind of fine tuning. And then selective erasing. I like this on the bottom. Duplicate that out. Merge that with this. No, not, not do that. <laughs> Gotta be careful merging these layers at different. Uh, blendings. I feel like I want to move this. I feel like I can open up a little bit of this. That could be nice. And then last. I like some of this stuff. So what I'm going to do is do a big swoop of it, like so. Duplicate it. And then 
just yeah just mess with it kind of tuck it in where I think it's most useful Kind of looking here. Ooh, it's hard. So I think the only things that are really useful, pretty brutal here. Right there. I don't think I need that. It's kind of useful, but let's move it in a little bit. I don't think I need this. And then this part. I'll move up. Yeah, so I'm sitting above a little bit. And then on my here, I'm going to erase away from it. Let this kind of come through. So lots of push and pull. That's really what watercolor is all about. All right. Okay, so I think that's it. I think that is my portrait. And so I save it. And delete the layers I know I'm not using. Got a lot, lot going on from what just started as a, a watercolor composite, right? Like over a sketch. And take the one area that still not that thrilled with right there and let's let's show you how powerful that can be just compositing a little bit of texture putting it over the top transforming it to be what you want Uh, erasing away the hard edges with a soft brush. Unless there are hard edges you want, of course. See, and already that's it's kind of an improvement, but let's play with different modes using it. It's a little too strong. Yeah, it certainly helps. Mm 
and of course I can lighten it. Maybe just change the hue. So I don't mind that red all that much in there. Yeah, that might be a good choice. Strangely. All right. A little more of that color through. And I'm sure there are other final touches it could use, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with that, given the intentions. Um, making it flattering and yet really playing with with the watercolor texture and the energy of kind of early modernism and the, the odd color choices, playing hard and soft with um, the edges. Yeah. And being pretty experimental in spirit. I think it's working. Now, last thing is to go through and see, especially on these copies of underpainting layers, if they are all necessary everywhere. Without any underpainting layers, it looks washed out, right? And so there's the main underpainting layer at 100%. But then do I need more? than just the one copy. And I think I don't need the third copy <laughs> to bulk it up. And then same thing with the refined painting. You need that first one. Do I need that second? No, I think it might muddy it up a little bit. Let's get rid of that. Not only does it save down on memory, yeah, for some reason I like that. I like that little hook. But I think I do want to lighten it here. Take a little bit of the edge off. Hmm, that's tough. Do I want the sketch or not? I kind of have the aspects of the sketch I want. I don't think I do need it here. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's more flattering without. <laughs> 